G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and today I'm going to show you how to build my little bell tower. And this will be a really easy build because it's not very big at all, but it does look super cool. Check out that roof, it looks really nice on the top, but especially the underside here. There is lots and lots of detail packed into that, it looks really awesome. And we've also got a pretty cool looking copper bell. So today we're just doing the tutorial for the bell tower, but some of you may have seen my time lapse where I put it on a little mountaintop here with a Tory gate and some cherry blossom trees. If you want to copy exactly what I've done here, then you can go down to the video description and you can find this world download for Java edition. So yeah, if you want to copy this exactly, you can download the world and copy it from here. And this Tory gate has a little added bonus. If you come down the bottom here and place in some obsidian, then this can double as another portal. And this is how the build looks without shaders. And you can find a full materials list in the video description. Okay, let's get started. To begin, I want you to build a square that is nine blocks by nine blocks and just build this out of stone. And once you've done that, come along to a corner. We're gonna place a smooth stone, and then skip two blocks and place another and do the same on the other side and go ahead and do this in each corner. And once you've done that, pick which side will be the front of your building. This is gonna be my front. And we're going to place one, two, three stone, then in front of that, three andesite stairs, and another three on top. Then grab two andesite walls, place them there with lanterns, and then staying with your andesite walls, we are just going to run these all the way around. Just like that. Now you can come along to your stairs, and next to the top stair, we're going to place a smooth stone, run it across your walls until you reach the corner, and we're just going to run a big square of this all the way around, just on top of our andesite walls, and you should finish back next to your stairs. Then you can just come inside here, and we're going to fill in all of this area with smooth stone. Now grab some iron bars, and just here we're going to start running them along, and on this side, and we're just going to run these all the way around. So that's how you should look when you're done. And then on top of every single iron bar, we are going to place an iron trapdoor. Okay, once that's done, grab some stripped acacia logs and we're going to come along to any corner and place one, two, three, four, five, six with a stone block on top. So go ahead and do this in each corner. And once you've done that, grab stripped acacia logs again and we're just going to make a square up the top here connecting all of our stone blocks. Okay, now I want you to come to the side where your stairs are and right in the middle there, just place a temporary block. So I'm using dirt. And then against that, we're going to run stripped acacia logs all the way along. When you get to this point here, switch to acacia wood, the one with the bark texture on every side. And then come back to this side, remove your temporary block and place your acacia wood again. And then right in the middle of this beam, we're going to place an acacia trapdoor on that side and another one on that side. Okay, come along to any corner and what I built here, I want you to copy to the other three corners. So against the stone, we're going to place one, two, three stripped acacia logs. We're going to put blackstone buttons on those two. And then above these, we're going to put two upside down acacia stairs with a cherry trapdoor in the middle. And then on this side, we're going to place two red sandstone walls. So do that for each corner. Okay, we're going to continue building in the corners. And once again, what I build here, copy to the other three corners. So holding shift on top of that trapdoor, we're going to place a sea lantern with one, two, three stone blocks on top. And then we'll do another stone block there with a stripped acacia log and two more stones. So build that in each corner. And then what I build on this side, I want you to copy to the other three sides. So just above our sandstone walls, we're going to run stripped acacia logs all the way along. And then we're also going to connect our sea lanterns with another line of stripped acacia. And then grab some stone and we'll place one there 
and one right there. So do that on each side. Okay, once again, what I build on this side, copy to all the other sides. So starting against our sea lantern, we'll place an upside down acacia stair. And then we're going to run these every second block and finish against that sea lantern. Then in between these, we're going to place cherry trapdoors. And then against the ends of our stairs, we are going to place acacia trapdoors. So go ahead and build that on all four sides. So once you've got all of those in, we are just going to add an extra cherry trapdoor to each corner. Okay, grab some cherry planks and where we've got this stone block here, just next to that, we're going to run a line of them all the way along until we connect. And then grab some sea lanterns and on top of these cherry trapdoors, we're going to hold shift and place those. And then in between our sea lanterns, we are going to place stone blocks. And we're going to do this on every single side. So just come around here, cherry planks, and then sea lanterns and stone, and just keep doing this all the way around the building. Okay, once you've done that, what we're going to do is just against the side of our stone blocks, we are going to place acacia planks, and you can go ahead and do this all the way around. Okay, now you can look down, find the side where your staircase is, and then we're going to spin around to the right-hand side of the building, and against that sea lantern in the middle, we're going to place acacia planks. So this is the odd one out, but for every other sea lantern, we are going to place upside down acacia stairs against it. So just run around placing all your stairs. Okay, once you've done that on every side, you can come along to a corner and what I built here, copy to the other three corners. So in between our stairs, we're going to place acacia planks. And then we'll do a smooth quartz slab out on the diagonal. And then each side of that, we're going to place two acacia fence gates and we're going to open them up. So do that in each corner. And once you've done those, pick a side. And what I do here, I want you to copy to the other three sides. So starting next to that fence gate, we're going to place a smooth quartz slab. And we're just going to place one every second block finishing right there. Then in between these, we're going to place our acacia fence gates and open them up. Okay, grab some stripped acacia logs and starting against this stone block, we're going to place a line of logs all the way along. And then just in front of that, we're going to do a line of stone covering up our cherry planks. So go ahead, do that on each side. Okay, find the front of the building where your stairs are. And on top of that middle sea lantern, we're going to place a stone block. And then we're also going to place them on those sea lanterns. And then we'll do deep slate tile blocks, four of them, just like that. And we're also going to do that on the opposite side. So come along to the back wall. We'll do our three stone on the sea lanterns and our four deep slate tiles. Now the two side walls are a little bit different. So you can put your stone block in the middle and we're just going to do two deep slate tiles there and the same thing on this side. So stone block and two tiles and then we're just going to run a square of stone all the way around. And once you've run that stone all the way around, I want you to come along to each corner and we're just going to place an extra stone block like so. Now, it's important to be looking in the same direction I am here, so look from the front of the building, keep looking in this direction, and we're going to place a stone block there with an acacia plank behind it, and still looking in the same direction, we'll do the same here, so stone block, acacia plank. Now we're going to go to the back of the building, looking toward the front, and we'll do the same thing, so stone block, acacia plank, and stone block, and acacia plank. So that's how you should look when you're done. Okay, now I want you to come along to the side wall. This is the one with the two deep slate blocks. And what I built here, I want you to copy to the opposite side. So not the front and the back, just the two side walls. So on top of that stripped acacia, right in the middle, we're going to place another one, two, three stripped acacia. And then each side, we're going to place three more just like so. Then grab cherry planks and we'll go one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then with acacia stairs, we're going to look from the side and place two upside down and another two right here. 
Then in the middle, we'll do an acacia trapdoor and hold shift, place a sea lantern on top with another acacia trapdoor in front. And then grab some stone blocks and we'll go one, two, three, one up the top and another one, two, three. So build that on each side. And once that's done, I want you to come to the middle here. And in the middle of this beam, we're going to place a sea lantern and we're going to surround that with acacia trapdoors. Then on top, we'll place one, two, three, four stripped acacia with a sea lantern on top. And then we're going to run acacia all the way along till we connect there. And the same on that side. And then we're going to cover the sides of our sea lantern with acacia trapdoors. Okay, we're going to grab deep slate bricks here. So you'll need brick stairs, bricks and brick slabs. And what I build on this side, I want you to copy to the opposite side. So starting with our deep slate brick stairs on top of this stone, we're going to go one, two, three, and then we'll switch to a brick, then a slab, then a brick, another brick down here with a slab on top. So we'll do that one more time on this side. So three stairs, then a brick, slab, two bricks with a slab on the bottom one. So build that on the opposite side. Okay, come along to any side of our building and we're looking at our quartz slabs. So not against the one in the corner, but the second one in, we're gonna place a deep slate brick slab with an extra one poking toward the corner. And we'll do the same on this side. And then you can just connect these with your brick slabs. And this is going to be exactly the same on all four sides. So just go ahead and fill all of these in. Okay, once you've built that on all four sides, come along to a corner and what I built here, copy to the other three corners. So you can see that stone block in the corner. On each side of that, we're going to place right way up deep slate tile stairs. And then on top of the quartz, we'll do a deep slate tile block. And just behind that, two deep slate tile slabs. Then grab a deep slate brick slab and just place a temporary one, one on the corner and break that. So that's how you should have it. Then we're going to go two deep slate brick slabs there and another two there. So build that in each corner. Okay, come along to one of your side walls and on top of the acacia, we're going to start with a deep slate tile block in the corner. And then we're going to place one every second block until we finish right there. In between these, we're going to place deep slate tile stairs. And then you can run a line of deep slate tile slabs just in front. And that'll be the exact same on the other side. And once you've built that on both sides, you can come along to the front wall. And this is almost the same, but we're going to start with a deep slate tile block in that corner. And another one right there. And then from here, it's the same. So we're going to start with a block, place them every second block with stairs in between. And then we'll grab our slabs starting right here. We're just going to run these all the way along. So go ahead, build this on the opposite side as well. Okay, now you can come to the middle and starting against that sea lantern, we're going to place a stone block and then we'll place one every second block and in between these deep slate tile blocks. Now come to the side wall and what I built here, copy the exact same thing to the opposite side. So you can see these stone blocks here against every single one of those. We are going to place a deep slate tile block. So just run them all the way down. Now we're also going to place a deep slate tile slab right there. And we'll place another one in the same spot on that side. Then staying with our deep slate tiles, we're going to cover up this stone here. So just cover up every single stone block with a slab. So do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, come along to the front wall and what I built here, I want you to copy the same thing to the back. So starting right here, we're going to place a deep slate tile block and we'll place one every second block like so. And then just behind these, we're going to place one, two, three, four. So we've made a crisscross line of our blocks. So then you can see all the stone in front. We're just going to cover up all that stone with a zigzag of a deep slate tile slabs. Then just behind here, we're going to grab deep slate brick stairs and place one, two, three upside down. And once you've built that on both sides, you can grab deep slate tile slabs 
And starting on top of that stone block, we'll place a slab and we'll just do one every second block. Then to fill in the rest of our roof, this is pretty simple. We're going to go one, two, three deep slate tile blocks. And then beside that, one, two, three deep slate tile stairs. And we just keep repeating that. So three blocks and three stairs and continue until you've filled in your roof. And once you've done that on both sides, you can come right up the top here. And on top of the stone blocks, we're going to place deep slate tile blocks. And then just in between those, we're going to place deep slate tile walls. Then grab a deep slate brick and right on the end here, we're going to place it on top. And then we're going to run deep slate brick slabs all the way across the top and then finish with another deep slate brick. And to do the decoration on the end against the tile block, we'll do an upside down deep slate tile stair with a tile wall and then switch to deep slate brick stairs and we'll do one right way up and one upside down. So go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So tile stair, tile wall, deep slate brick stair, and another one upside down. Okay, the roof is all done. You can come down below and we've just got a little bit of decorating to do. So grab some acacia trapdoors and just in front of our wall, we're gonna go one there and then we'll do one every second block until you've placed four. And you can go ahead and do that on every single side. Okay, now we're gonna do our copper bell. So come along here and right in the middle, we're gonna place a mossy cobblestone wall. And just under that, we'll do a waxed oxidized copper. Now, each side of that, we're going to grab the copper cut stairs. Make sure you've waxed these and these are oxidized as well. So just place four of them on each side. And then underneath the stairs, we're gonna go back to our same copper block we used before. Underneath that, we're going to place some warped planks. And then underneath our warped planks, we are going to place sea lanterns. And then what you can do is in the corners here against the sea lanterns, go back to your copper block and place one in each corner. Now, just above that, we're going to place two of our mossy cobble walls. So do that in each corner. And then we will cover up the side of our sea lantern with a warped trapdoor. And then just to finish underneath here, we are going to place eight warped trapdoors, just covering all of that up. And that is how to make your bell. Okay, looking from the front of your building, we're going to swing around to the right hand side. And against the warped plank, we'll do a temporary block and then we'll do a stripped spruce log, then a barrel and then holding shift, we'll place another two stripped spruce logs, then a barrel and hold shift and place one more stripped spruce. Then you can come back, break your temporary block and place an oak trapdoor on the end of your log. Then right here, we're just going to hang two chains just above our barrel. And then above the other barrel, if you look up there, we're gonna place an acacia fence. And from that, we're going to hang four chains, finishing at our barrel. And that is it guys, that is your bell tower 100% complete. So thanks for watching guys, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and have fun with this little beauty of a build. I'm sure it'll look awesome in your Japanese village. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.